Reading 012. Unit 5, Lesson 2. Just Whistle. By the end of Unit 5, Lesson 2, you'll be able to recognize the main idea in the reading text and locate important information in the text. Vocabulary. Shepherds. These are people who take care of sheep. Terrain. This is a type of land. For example, a hilly area. Megaphone. This is a piece of equipment that makes your voice louder. Preview the magazine article below. Underline the title, the first sentence of each paragraph, and the last sentence of the text. Then answer the following questions. Number one, what is the topic of the text? Number two, what is the language used? Number three, who is learning the language? Number four, what type of terrain would you see if you visited La Gomera? Number five, how far away can Silbo Gomera whistles be heard? Just whistle. People who live in La Gomera, a small island off the coast of Africa, are starting to whistle while they work again, but these are not ordinary songs. In fact, Silbo Gomera is not music at all, but a whistled language you can hear only on this hilly Spanish island. Researchers believe that Silbo Gomera first came to the island with settlers from Africa over 2,500 years ago. Residents are attempting to bring the language back to life before those who know it best, the shepherds, can no longer pass it on. The whistled language is called Silbo from Silbar, the Spanish word for whistle. In the language, whistled sounds replace Spanish words. Sounds that are whistled higher or lower have different meanings. A silbador, or whistler, can change the level of the whistle by using his fingers. The hilly terrain of the region helps the sound travel. A silbador can direct the sound even more by cupping the other hand like a megaphone. Whistlers do not simply pass along information about basic needs. They can carry on whole conversations. The whistlers can communicate more than 4,000 words. However, since some words sound similar, whistlers must sometimes guess the meaning. In 2000, the local government required all school children in the island's 15 schools to learn Silbo Gamero. Students between the ages of 7 and 14 practice the whistled language for half an hour a week. As a result, they can communicate with friends who live up to two miles away. As many as 70 other whistled languages exist in areas with similar terrain. Greece, Turkey, China, Vietnam, and Mexico. But researchers have only studied 12. Each one is based on the language spoken in that area. Studying these languages is an important step in maintaining their existence. Modern communication systems, especially cell phones, now threaten them. The people of La Gomera hope that by teaching children their special language in school, they can continue to pass it on to future generations. Answer the following questions. What is the topic of the text? What is the language used? Who is learning the language? What type of terrain would you see if you visited La Gomera? How far away can Silbo Gamero whistles be heard?